Yo no quiero nada, solo lo que quiero vacilar. Oh oh, aquí esto no pare. Oh, look at the dog. Today, you know what the video is going to be. I'm going to be telling you guys how I pass my practical and my theory tests. First try. I'm going to have the satisfaction of telling my children that I passed my theory and my practical the first time. The same way my dad had his satisfaction, I'm going to have satisfaction as well. So for my theory, I actually got flip. I don't even remember what it's out of. It's uh, no, it's out of 50. Is that a 50? Whatever it's out of, on my theory part, I got three wrong. I can't remember what I got for hazard perception, but I can't lie, I, I did good. Especially for hazard, for those of you who have done the theory part of your exam, you know how difficult and confusing hazard is, but we'll get onto that later on in the video. That was for theory. For the practical, I only got one minor. So now... I literally wrote like a bunch of things that I want to speak to you guys about. Um, I'm just going to get straight onto the tips. Whilst I talk about my, my tips, I'll also speak about my experience. For theory, the app that I use to revise for theory is this one. It's called Driving Theory Test 4-in-1 Kit. So it's just this one here. When I tell you, this app is absolutely beautiful like it is amazing it has literally all of it i know there's this other there's another app that people like using this one over here i don't know what it's called and i you get like four apps with it but this guys this one has literally everything you need my first tip is to practice every single day because practice makes perfect i promise you do at least one mock a day and make sure you go on youtube and watch a video like a good video explaining how hazard works because i remember for like the first three weeks that i was practicing on the app i was doing hazard completely wrong that's because i didn't watch any videos explaining how it actually works i remember for the longest i was doing it completely wrong and i was getting like so bad in the mock tests and then after i watched the video i started getting better so another thing that i would do in this app basically there are different sections in the app for theory and whatever section you want to practice on click on it and they'll give you an option of how many questions you want to do so i would usually do about like 15 questions at once i would go through all of those questions and then I'd, before i started the actual questions i would put it on the setting that it would show me if i was wrong right after the question and the reason i did this is because every time i got a question wrong i would go back put the correct answer and then put a heart on that question and i would do that for every single question i would get wrong so that after i had gone through every single one of the questions the only ones that i practiced were the questions that were hearted because obviously why would i need to practice questions that i already know questions that i already got correct in i just realized it's kind of hard to understand what i was trying to say so i'm literally gonna physically show you guys on my phone okay so once you download the app it's right here this is what you're gonna see. And so you're gonna go on theory test and then you're gonna go to this, this section over here, practice all questions. And then you're gonna, as you can see, you're gonna be given the options of all of these different um, questions that could come up. And so let's say I wanna go on road and traffic signs. So I'm gonna press start over here. It's gonna give me the option of how many questions I wanna do. So I'm just gonna change this to 10. And then over here is going to say question type. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then what I meant by it would show me if the answers were incorrect after every single time that I answered is this. So you you need to make sure that this is on. So a lot of answer is incorrect. So if I start here, continue. So you're on a motorway. What should you do if there's a red cross showing on the signs above your lane only? So... I'm going to press the wrong answer, so pull onto the hard shoulder. It's going to show me over here. So show show answer. If you reveal the question, you will not score for this answer. And then try again. You can still score a point if you get this question correct. I would just go on try again. And then because I got this question wrong, I'm going to press on this heart over here. And so if you go back, quit. It's going to show my questions. And then as you can see, there's a little heart over here. And so you click on that and it's literally it's showing me two questions that I got wrong. 
well that i hearted so i'm just gonna click on those questions and re like revise as you can see and then it will show me like what the correct answer is and that's what i meant by all of that whole explanation also say you read a question and you didn't quite understand it but so you guessed the answer but then you got it right in that situation especially if i didn't understand the question i would go back and also heart that one especially because you guess there is a chance that you might not get it later on so just keep that in mind to heart every single question that you got wrong and then go over it when i tell you guys this app is so good like i genuinely would not be telling you guys this if this app was not 10 10 it is it, you do have to pay for it but i promise you it is worth the money literally it's 4.99 it's better to pay for the app than to go over the whole book that they have this one over here they have a fat book for theory that you would have to pay for and then like a lot of the time you wouldn't even pass if you went over that whole book if you get what i mean so it's better to be safe than sorry it's better to spend five pounds on the app than to go to the test fail and then have to pay another 20 25 pounds to do the test again trust me when i tell you this this app is amazing and I love it so much and I would literally recommend it to anyone so now for practical I know that that's what mainly what attracted you guys to this video is because you want to know how I did practical and I'm going to give you guys all of my tips everything that I did to prepare for this exam <laughs> so why are there people So personally, I started learning how to drive with my dad. And if I'm going to be honest with you guys, my dad is 90% of the reason I passed my theory. And that is my biggest tip is to start learning with a family member or a friend. Because I don't know what it is. Honestly, that is the best thing you could do, especially to begin, like start from scratch learn learn how to control the car learn how to if you're doing manual learn how to control the clutch learn how to before you start doing lessons with an instructor actually physically start learning how to drive with a family or friend and the reason i say that is because driving is not the easiest especially if you're doing manual and for you to get the hang of it entirely 100 percent, it will cost you so much money to begin from scratch with a driving instructor because as Especially nowadays, a good driving instructor is not cheap. So unless you're Kylie Jenner or flipping billionaire out there and you're not trying to spend all of that money on a driving instructor, start learning how to drive with your parent or any other member of family so i started learning how to drive this time last year so it was no i can't lie it was around march 2020 and obviously like literally as soon as i turned 17 i turned 17 in february and then in march i was like to my dad i need to start learning how to drive and obviously because it was lockdown there wasn't really that much to do like i took that opportunity to grab my dad and and i basically told him to teach me how to drive and he did and and then that's around the time that i started learning theory as well and so i ended up doing my theory on the 18th of july i was fully driving i knew how to drive my main thing is in order to actually take your driving test you need to have an instructor there's no possible way that you can do your practical and not have a driving instructor so obviously after i'd done my theory um my parents already knew of my driving instructor and she is really good so if any of you guys are looking for a really good driving instructor dm me and i'll give you her details i booked my practical the early Literally the earliest I could book it for was the 15th of January so right before I turned 18 and like that was my goal I was planning on getting my driver's license before I turned 18 because I just wanted to you know like I wanted to be able to get my driver's license at 17 but literally it was in like nearly the end of December we went into lockdown again so obviously my driving test got cancelled and there was no way that i could rebook until lockdown had ended because no one even knew when lockdown was going to end at that point so i was so upset and so obviously like, i turned 18 and i still didn't have my driver's license and like i was just so sad so obviously it's not just the principle of knowing how to drive if that was what the exam was based on i'm pretty sure everyone would have their driver's license because if it was that then the the test would be easy because you basically need to drive looking at the mirrors like to turn you to look at the mirrors to signal you need to look at the mirrors to stop you need to look at the mirrors to move off you need to look at the mirrors like literally for every
everything you need to be looking at mirrors and like there's just a bunch of other stuff as well like if you hesitate for too long that's a serious driving fault my driving instructor picked me up i would say so my exam was at 1 45 and she picked me up at 11 to practice obviously before the the actual exam and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was completely drained by the time i it was time for my exam like i was so tired i was so drained i wasn't hungry i thought i was gonna be hungry but i literally wasn't even hungry like i was that nervous so by the time it was time for my driving test i was just exhausted like my legs were hurting so we're in a bit of a sticky position right now i need to go for two seconds but I will continue the video for you guys. I will continue the video in two seconds. But as I was saying, it's good to have a good driving instructor because my drive, I can't lie, I don't recommend going like literally two hours and 45 minutes before your exam. I would say like an hour and a half at the most because because you get really drained and like i was so tired by the end of it so don't don't go for too long but also it's good to have a good driving instructor because like my driving instructor was amazing and she took me like everywhere that um i don't know if you guys can even hear me but she took me everywhere that people most fail so i got my driving license in hendon she took me on the places that most students fail like the most and literally my driving examiner took me it to every single one of those places and honestly there was one of, in one of the places like when i went there with my driving instructor i got the, i got it wrong and she said if you do this in the exam it is a serious driving fault and you will fail straight away and my driving examiner took me there and I didn't fail. Back to what I was saying. For those of you who don't know yet, a minor is basically things like not checking the mirrors. Yeah, just things like that. And in your exam, you're allowed up to 15 minors. If you get more than 15 minors, it's an automatic fail. And a serious and dangerous fault are things like putting the traffic in danger, hesitating for too long. If you get one minor, I mean one serious or one dangerous fault, it's an automatic fail. So I only got one minor. Me and my instructor got to the test center about 10 minutes. Ten, no, it was about like 20 minutes before my exam. And obviously like I needed to go to the toilet, like I needed to stretch my legs a little bit. Like I, I ate like some chocolates just to like, you know, get a bit more energy before the actual exam. Um, But then when my my examiner came out he asked for me to hold up my provisional next to my face obviously to check my identity he gave me like a little slip like a little piece of paper thing that matter of fact i kept it but i have no idea where it is yeah so he gave me a slip to like sign some things like tick some boxes i, I can't really remember it was, even though it was like five days ago but he told me to turn around and as i told you guys i done my test in hendon and if you did your test in hendon you know that the number plates are already set over there for you to read and so they'll put you at a specific distance it's like right outside the test center where you have to read it from and to be honest you guys obviously if you don't read the number plates it's an automatic fail like they won't even take you in the car it's really important that you show them that you know exactly what the number plates are because that is the very first thing like that's the first step of your driving test so if they see you struggling that is already like not a good look to them it's not a good first impression if you're doing it at hendon make sure you at least practice or revise i know them off by heart like because if you don't have because i have 20 20 vision and i'm guys i'm not even going to lie i went there so i went to hendon so many times my dad made me practice it and i got it spot on with my dad with my instructor literally i had got it so many times spot on but when for some reason in like during the exam i don't know it was probably the anxiety the nerve what i don't know what it was like i look he struggled a little bit bro like my vision i don't know why it looked he went blurry he told me to read the second one that was there so i read it out to him and then we we walked over to the car to my driving instructor's car and then he told me to get in and not start the engine he like obviously every single one of them like they walk around the car to see like the conditions of the car and then he got in and then he literally went straight away and asked me the tell me question that is another one of my tips guys that is also so 
the beginning of your test make sure you know the show me and tell me questions correctly because if you don't then it's not a fail but they will give you a minor point for it if you have no idea what the hell he just asked you then that is not going to be a good impression for my one he asked me how i would know that the indicators are working so obviously i explained to him that i would turn on the hazard lights step out of the vehicle and then check that all six indicators are working and so he was like yep that's fine and for me he was like oh since the like the bays are empty i'm going to get you to start off with a reverse bay park maneuver and so i was like shit like and bear in mind guys like i know this like i could do that maneuver with my eyes closed but i was i don't know why i was just so scared but i did the maneuver i did it perfectly fine i was literally right in the middle of um the lines like i did it perfectly it was just at the very end when i put the car in neutral and i put the handbrake up i didn't fully put the handbrake up so i like i took my feet off the clutch and, and off the brake and so he went to open the door to check um like if i was inside the line and then he he was like i think the car is rolling back and i was like oh my god i put my foot on the brake and i fully the handbrake up and i thought at that point i thought to myself yeah like that's it like i failed usually if they do have to touch the steering or the brakes it is like no questions asked like an automatic fail and at that point i thought i failed but he told me to like move off so obviously i hadn't failed and i'm pretty sure that that's what i got the minor f the minor from so the only reason i knew i didn't fail after the car rolled back is because now because of corona as soon as you fail they take you right back to so like if you're driving and then like you make a serious or dangerous driving fault they take you straight back to the test center because obviously the test is 40 minutes long and if you failed then they don't want to spend that un unnecessary amount of time in the car with you obviously when he told me to move off i was so glad like i knew i hadn't failed yet because he wouldn't have told me to move off if i had failed at that point because obviously it would have been unnecessary time in the car when you are in that exam it is going to fly by because i remember i must have been driving and then next thing i know it was the end of my independent driving because obviously you do independent driving and so he like took the the tom tom off or the sat nav whatever you want to call it and he was like okay yeah just follow my directions and then he told me to take a turn and it was the turn to go back to the driving test center and i thought yeah like shit like i i i failed i literally thought the exam had lasted 10 minutes we had been in the car for 45 minutes like literally 45 minutes to 50 minutes because when we stopped and i checked the time it was already 50 minutes later and i was like what the f and then because at first he told me that it was gonna last from half an hour to 40 minutes like maximum 40 minutes but then afterwards when he told me when i stopped the car and then he was like oh yeah i'm pleased to tell you that you passed he was like your driving is amazing and he he was even like to me i had to he had to extend the route to see if i would make any more driving errors basically he told me that he extended the driving test because you lot are actually gonna think i'm trying shit but i promise you he was literally like to me yeah like you're an, you're an, had like i wanted to extend the route to see if you would make any more minor mistakes because there's no way i had only made one in conclusion because i know this video is, i've been talking for way too long my main tips for you guys is to get a good driving instructor that knows what they're talking about because you would be surprised with the amount of driving instructors that are, that there are out there that have no idea what the f they're on about and also to practice to practice with family or friends um because like practice makes perfect guys like like, no matter who you are what how intelligent you are how good you are practice will always make perfect when it comes to the driving instructor it's important to not only do lessons with your family like it's also really really important to get a driving instructor because a lot of the times with family members they won't know like the exact law so like having to check the mirrors very often my driving instructor taught me she said to me to not take my so when we're waiting at a traffic light to keep the car in first gear and keep my foot on the clutch and to not like put it on neutral and then rest she told me do not do that under any circumstances is but like when i was driving with my dad i would do that all the time and my dad wouldn't say anything obviously like having a driving instructor is really really important because they're the ones that know what you need to know and guys my last and final tip watch driving videos literally that is a 
big big chunk of the percentage as to why i passed i would watch driving mock tests so um dgn driving videos um i don't know how many of you guys know it but that guy oh my god beautiful videos absolutely amazing videos guys i, I must have watched every single mock driving video there is out there in the internet and the reason being is because not only do you learn from your own mistakes you will watch videos and because he will like pause it every single time that they make a mistake you will also learn from that learner driver's mistakes and when i tell you guys it is the best thing i could have ever done because it was because of those videos that i learned that hesitation at a roundabout would lead to a serious driving fault trust me when i tell you that those videos helped me so 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 much like you will look at other people driving and look at the good things and the bad things that they did and like when i would be watching the videos i would see myself driving like i would literally see myself in the person's shoes and driving and every single time they would make a mistake i would think in my head shit like that's something that's a mistake that i would make and then afterwards i wouldn't make the mistake again and they will also put everything good that the driver did just make sure that you watch driving videos because i promise you guys it, it helped me so much majority of the videos i would watch are failed mock driving tests especially right before my exam like a week before my exam like that's all i was watching but the thing is that would like really put me down because they would get serious driving faults for the most stupidest reasons i was getting so stressed out guys so after i started watching like just only people passing and then like i got my hopes up a little bit more because when you constantly see people failing and failing and failing it's bound to put you down and like put you off driving and make you think that you're not going to pass if you guys have any more questions like literally anything dm me or snap me and i will answer you um i'm sorry if i missed out anything i feel like i have i 100 have so if you do have any more questions please message me and i promise i will answer you i will try to answer everyone also comment down below if you have any more questions i wish you guys the best of luck in your exam do not guys do not stress okay one last thing for me like i knew what i was doing guys like i know how to drive perfectly like i know everything that i have to do i was so stressed out before the exam like you can ask my parents ask victor like i would literally cry and cry and cry thinking i would say to myself i'm gonna fail i'm gonna fail i'm gonna fail but guys like i regret it so much now that i think back to it i've realized that i know what i'm doing and if i was to fail it would be because my nerves got the better of me so there is absolutely no you will get nervous i'm not going to lie you will get stressed and nervous but just try your best to calm down and think to yourself i know what i'm doing sorry my phone keeps on turning off but just just think to yourself i know what i'm doing i know how to drive um there's no point in being nervous because if i do feel it would be because of my nerves so just do not stress just breathe and believe in yourself